Alright, just a quick note before I start this tutorial. Uh, sometimes I get choked up and I have no idea what I'm talking about, so throughout the whole thing, I'll be clearing myself up with uh, whatever text is on top of the video. Um, enjoy. Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to record Call of Duty 4, make videos and stuff uh, for the computer. So there's a couple things you're going to need, and uh, I'm not going to provide the link for the Sony Vegas Pro because there's thousands of tutorials and things to you know download that but I am gonna provide you with a couple things that you're gonna need to make uh, your movies and things um, go ahead and open this there's a download link in the description it's just a raw file with uh, some stuff you're gonna need it uh, has a frap setup in it COD 4 player um, and there's a thing called movie mod in here Movie mod is just basically a mod that you're going to put in your mods folder, and there's also a profile named it. It's that um, when you're going to be making movies, you're going to go onto that profile and load that mod. So uh, once you install Fraps and COD 4 Player, COD 4 Player, you can just put onto your desktop. I have it right here. It's not really something that you need to install. Um, what you want to do first is. Uh, hmm. Go to your computer, C drive, program files, Activision, Call of Duty 4, and then you're going to go into, if you're on Windows 7, you have to click compatibility files to show your mods and things. And what you're going to do is you're going to take movie mod mod, and you're just going to drag it in here. And now you're going to go back to your Call of Duty 4 folder, click compatibility files, that was up here. Click players, profiles and then you're going to take your movie mod profile and drag it in here after that's done what you're going to want to do is find whatever demo you want to load but before that we're going to open cod 4 play really quick it's a really simple to use interface um, you click this and it shows you uh, what controls do what okay so you're going to go to setup um, set this you type you're going to want to type in movie mod mod okay and now you're gonna wanna set your speed fast ultra or no sorry um, speed slow ultra to 0.25 and then click save and now you're gonna wanna leave that open open up fraps okay now we're gonna find the demo that we want so I'm gonna go to computer Program Files, Activision, Call of Duty 4. Um, we're going to go into our Mods folder. I'm just going to pick anything from a scrim or something, PCW, that I was playing before. Um, let's say I want Demo 52. Hey guys, sorry about the interruption. Uh, there's a quick thing I just wanted to go over of finding your demos, because sometimes people can't find them. Um, it's actually really simple. So you want to click start, go to your computer, C drive, program files. Now this is for Windows 7 um, and Vista, I guess. Um, finding your demo and putting it onto your desktop is probably a little harder, but helps you in the end because you'll always you'll always have it there, and then you can organize it later. But anyway, you want to go to your Activision folder, Call of Duty 4, click compatibility files. Now you want to go to your mods and you have to remember what mod you were playing for me um, pro mod scrims I'll always it'll always be in pro mod live 204 and then in that folder there's a demos folder and then it has a list of all my demos that I've uh, you know I've recorded and things um, in game so say I just recorded demos in a game that didn't have any mods uh, that would be in your main folder. You can go into demos, and then all the demos are here. This is from just pubs. Okay, uh, that should be it. If I forgot anything, I'll probably go back. I'm gonna drag it onto my desktop. Now, I'm gonna open Call of Duty 4 really quick. And what you wanna do is you wanna set it to load whatever movie mod you were on 
Now it's going to open in windowed mode, and it's going to open in a pretty weird resolution. Okay. Now, you have fraps open, right? So you go to the movies tab, and you set your frame rate to custom, which is this button right here, and then you're going to click 0.25, or point, sorry, just 25. And you're going to click record Windows 7 sound, stereo, don't record that. And you're going to click don't sync audio, and, or sync, and you're going to untick that, and you're going to click hide mouse cursor in video. Now, you're going to go ahead and close Call of Duty 4 because you just wanted to set it so that it would load the profile that you want. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the demo, and mine's on my desktop, so I'm just going to open this demo right here. Your demo is going to be located in whatever mod you recorded it in. So if you recorded it in, say, ProMod Live, um, it would be in your mods folder and then go to ProMod Live and then go to the folder that's labeled demos. Um, also, if you recorded it into a, in a public lobby where there's no demos at all, it's just going to be in your main folder. Once the demo opens, you're going to be at this screen. Sorry, I skipped it up a little bit. Um, it goes right from where it was supposed to load shipment to crash. Don't worry, it does load shipment first. Let it Just let it load, and then it'll open the map that the demo was recorded on. Another really quick note, it looks really laggy on my screen because I was recording with Camtasia, so it's a little laggy, but honestly it shouldn't be laggy on yours, and when you slow it down, it helps a lot. First of all, I'm going to... Um, execute the movie config with F11. Okay, so now it's got some cool, some nice colors and things, right? Um, all right, so I'm recording at 25 FPS at a time scale of 0.25, which means that when I speed it up in Sony Vegas all the way, it'll be at 100 frames per second, and there will be uh, no lag whatsoever. So it should come out pretty good. I uh, know right now I don't have any custom skies or anything in. Um, I'll make another tutorial for that if you guys want, but it's really simple. Alright, anyway, so since it's really, really slow, right, you want to click 2 in your number pad, and you want to go ahead and start recording. And just record whatever frags you want. The reason behind changing your uh, fraps hotkey is because F9, F10, F11, and F12 all execute the movie config, and you don't want to make a mistake by pressing F9 and stopping recording when you actually meant to execute a movie config. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording, and then I'm going to click um, the slash in my number pad to close Call of Duty 4. Okay, we can go ahead and close Call of Duty 4 player and uh, fraps. Now we're going to open Sony Vegas. Alright, now that Sony Vegas is opened, we're going to go ahead and check our project properties and things. Um, video, I'm going to have it 1280 by 720. No field order, one aspect ratio, zero, zero degrees for output rotation. I'm going to put it on 50 frame rate, 8-bit pixel format, full resolution rendering quality, best, motion blur, Gaussian, deinterlace mode, none. none. Um, going to our audio, stereo, 0, 96,000, 24, best. That's really all that we need for that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and import our um, video that we just recorded. Let's go ahead and find that and import it. And you have to pay attention to everything that I'm doing in Sony Vegas because uh, you can instantly just lose track of what you're doing. Alright, now we're going to drag this into the timeline. Now there's a few things that we're going to be doing with it. Um, if you play it, the audio is going to be messed up. Uh, I'm not even going to show you because it it's horrible. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold control, click the edge, and drag it all the way to the left, which speeds it up all the way. Now we're going to right click the audio and click properties. Loop is already there, obviously. We're going to click Normalize, Ticket, click Recalculate, click rock, Lock to Stretch, and we're going to go to Event Pan and Crop, open that up, and just click the 16-9 widescreen TV aspect ratio. Right, so it gets a nice crop on there. Now if I pre-render it, just highlight it, wh whatever it is, and just hold Shift and press B, and that pre-renders. Okay, 
Now if I play it, it's in normal speed. And it looks pretty good. Now we're going to go into render settings really quick. First set are I.O. points. In and out. Um, I and the part where you want to start the render and end the render. With O. I click file, render as. Now we're going to render it as a main concept AVC slash AAC mp 4 And we're going to go and click custom. Make sure you click uh, default template and custom. Now I have my own thing here. Um, custom frame size, you have to change it to 1280 by 720. Um, profile main or baseline, it doesn't really matter. Uh, your frame rate, you're going to want it to be 59.940060, it doesn't really matter. 0000, zero, zero, zero is fine. Um, pixel aspect ratio is 1. Number of reference frames, 4. Use deblock deblocking filter. Um, variable bit rate is 14 million by 14 million and a two pass make sure two pass is checked what that does is it um it'll render the video twice and it'll pick the best frames that are rendered um, it's really nice it comes out great uh, include audio sample rate for hertz 96,000 and then 448k um, video render quality is best and click OK then name it whatever I'll put this on my desktop and name it a uh, test. I'm gonna save it. it. Shouldn't take very long to render. All right, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, stupid questions, retarded questions, I don't really care. I'll answer them in the description. If you follow everything step by step in this tutorial, you'll have pretty good quality. And here's a clip where I did exactly what I just told you, except it has a custom sky and stuff and skins, but uh, I'll do a separate tutorial for that. It's super simple. Um, here's the finished product. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, that's it. Peace.